what's going on everybody taco here and today um, I'm gonna be making a mass production wool farm so this farm is gonna I'm not gonna have a full materials list because uh, I recommend watching the um, the video I recommend watching this video before you actually build it because it might be something you miss or if I misspoke or something like that so these are the uh, base materials you're going to need. Uh, glass, white conch, or just a base block, grass block, dispenser, observer, and redstone. So basically with this farm, it depends on how many sheep you have as to the rate that you're going to get the wool. What I mean by that is if you're going to have three uh, sheep, you won't get many as nearly as many uh, drops per hour as if you were to have like a four by four is worth like uh four eight yeah 16 uh sheep in one farm so let's consider the following if you want to have this entire thing above ground that you're going to need to consider the following a base block the block where the minecart uh, minecart with hopper and rail are going to be and then the grass block now if you want to build this below ground watch the video first so you know how deep you have to make it so we're going this is just going to be one cubicle just surround this with glass on the sides and this is just one cubicle now this is going to be a corner cubicle so i'm going to go ahead and put that there because this is going to go all the way out here but not too far we're going to need to skip one skip one block skip one block skip a block skip a block in place and there you go this is going to be um, right here and then like the rest of the way through I'm just putting this here so I have something to go off of and and just build all the way up here so the sheep cannot escape okay this is the beginning of one row now with this row, we're going to need to put a block next to these. And now, oh wait a minute, no, 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 hold up. Uh, break those and uh, skip, pull them out by one. You're gonna need these right here. Now you can go ahead and put this redstone here, or you can um, go ahead and put the observers here. Make the face of the observer this is the face of the observer, the part that literally looks like a face, into the grass block. This is going to see the uh, grass block change into a dirt block whenever the grass is eaten. And then on top of it, you want a dispenser facing toward the direction of the grass block. I'm going to have a lower drop rate than, maybe I'll have a drop lower drop rate than you. That might That's going to be because I'm going to be doing a 4x4. Four four. So now you're going to need some of the, some other stuff. You're going to need a redstone block. You're going to need Yeah, we're just going to do a redstone block for now and um we're going to put that there <laughs> and uh we're going to wait for the minecart with hopper until this entire section is done. Pull these all the way down and here you're going to break that block and you're going to put a hopper now I'm going to make it to where it comes outward and the drops will go into this hopper waiting for uh, it to be connected to other hoppers to lead to a chest so now you want to have this powered rail over here now we're going to need some observers not observers comparators I get those mixed up because they do pretty much the same thing the comparators for is seeing item value and observer is for seeing change in blocks. They're kind of similar. So then you want a redstone torch here. You want a block on top of that redstone torch. And you want a comparator. So that is a, almost one, uh, one area done, almost. Then you want your shears. And what I recommend doing before we do this to make it more convenient for you is to put a 
hopper on top of each dispenser. This is going to make it more convenient. You can literally just drop them in. But if you want to, you can make like a minecart hopper system. I mean like a minecart system where it unloads into each one automatically. You can do that if you want. I'm not skilled enough to be doing that quite yet. And the side effect of this is whenever the uh, wool pops off the sheep, it has a chance it has a chance to go into this little area and get caught or just above the actual hitbox of the hopper. Like inside the hop. Well, actually no. It'll just get caught right here sometimes. But depending on how many sheep you have, um, the value of how much you get will be much greater than the value of the wool that you lose. So I don't see it as too much of a concern, but if you see a problem in it, go right ahead and change it. And make it to where you could just go out at the top and see it there. But it will be a bit difficult, you'll have to get at an angle to get over the sheep with it. So next, you want to get your sheep. And just, oh wait a minute, before you do that, before you do that, before you do that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, don't be too worried because with this with this section, uh, you don't need to put redstone on the grass. Now with the other ones, you have to put redstone on um, this grass so that it can uh, so the other ones can be powered. I'm going to uh, make an example. So I'm going to make another section. Move pig. I'm going to make another section. I'm going to literally just copy the exact same thing. Okay. So, I've just about made the exact same thing except for this chunk. I didn't duplicate that because that is not part of the example. So, what I meant earlier, uh, literally like five seconds ago for you, but it was way bigger of a length uh, for me. Anywho, whenever this observer uh, observes the block change, it's going to use this block as a power source, and you're going to need to put redstone on top of this block to power the, uh, to power the thing the dispenser. So you're going to need to put redstone on each and every one of these somehow. Um, like I said before, you're going to need to watch this video before you actually build it. So this is what I meant by that. Uh, if I hadn't have said that and I said you can go ahead and watch it as I'm building it, you would have had the same problem as me. You had to, you would have to pull the sheep out just to, um, just to put the redstone there. You wouldn't want that, which is why I say this, which is why I say that at first. So for me, I'm going to have to kill these sheep to get them out of the way. So I can put this redstone down. They will still be able to eat the grass uh, through the um, redstone as of 1.16 bedrock. I'm not 100% if this will change in the future. I don't know what Mojang is planning. So you're going to need to put that on every other one other than the last cubicle. Like the last row of cubicles, they will have used the third to last um, as like a redstone source. And I'll be back with all four cubicles. Okay, so there is a bit of a problem. You're going to need to connect these dirt blocks. The reason being is whenever a dirt block is floating on its own, it cannot grow grass unless grass is right next to it. So you're going to need at least one of the blocks to be grass so that it can spread throughout all the others. And grass will grow under glass, which is a really good thing. Okay. So now it should be working. And uh, you should be getting your drops. I don't know about these guys. They don't seem to be doing nothing. Oh, that's why. Because I didn't connect the grass blocks. Got to remember to do that. So at right now, I have these drops. Doesn't seem like they're much, but they are. <laughs> so that is the automatic uh, mass wool farm. Um, once the grass grows, they will all start eating. And uh, from there, all you have to worry about is shears and uh, the storage here building up because after a while it does build up. Uh, I just realized something. We're gonna need to get rid of these. Okay, um, it does work now. We just needed to spiff up the redstone a little. So um, replace that and this is literally it. Like there's no redstone above this block so you don't need to worry about that. Just copy this throughout every little section. Okay, 
that is the farm fixed. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment for any ideas that you might have for future video. And I will shout you out in either the description or the video itself. If I forget in the video, I will end up doing it in the description. So, um, also share this channel with your friends who um, have been wanting to make some redstone mass or just some redstone builds in their world that will be useful for uh, my their Minecraft world. I'm always trying to help people out with their Minecraft worlds and to um, make it better for them. So, without further ado, bye.